What is up guys, Rikarios on here, and today I'm going to be showing you probably the worst deck I've ever made. Um, and that deck is Zoroark Darkrai Nihaligo? Maybe? Um, so this idea was originally sort of Theorymond, and I, I don't know if he actually created it, but I remember his video being quite memorable. I think it was Tablemon, uh, Pablo Meza, uh, I think he was the original kind of inventor of this sort of archetype so yeah i really only made this just for fun yeah i don't i don't think it's as competitive as you know zork like rock zork Blispot. i do think those decks are a lot more consistent but it's just sort of a nice rogue that no one really expects uh, it does lose insanely hard to buzzwell like rock i think i've never actually like played against it so maybe that'll be one of the games hopefully not um so anyways, uh, this is the main dude of the deck, Zork GX, if you do not know what he does. You are living under a rock. This guy's amazing. Uh, ability trade. Discard one from hand, draw two. Excellent, excellent support. Um, it stacks. Helps you get rid of the cards you don't want. And draws into the cards you do want, like Kuzma. Uh, and those other related cards. Uh, so trade, amazing ability. We do run a 4-4 line of this guy. Uh, attack Riotous Beating. 20 times I'm very Pokemon in play. So caps out about 150 on um, GXs and EXs, which is kind of annoying because 170 is kind of that magic number for Lele. Um, and we don't run Lycanroc, so we can't really Kakui and, and, uh, and snipe out those Leles quite as easily. But, um, you know, it's definitely there. This is kind of a two-shotting deck. Not really meant to be one, big one-hit KOs. We do have an option, though, in Darkrai GX. Um... <coughs> Sorry, this guy has an ability called Restoration. Uh, once during your turn, if he's in the discard, they put it on your bench, um, attach a dark energy from the discard pile to this Pokemon. Uh, so very, very good recovery, obviously. Uh, I don't think you may play this differently, but I don't run any Super Odd or Rescue Stretcher, uh, especially because, A, you have, like, Gizzling Zorark, 4-4 four, four line, what more do you need? And, uh, B, you have this Restoration ability, which is really nice. Uh, but anyways, this guy's main attack is Dark Cleave. You're going to be hitting for 130 for 3 energy, and it's not affected by resistance. 130 is not that bad of a number, considering it can two-shot pretty much anything. Um, and then also, with a Choice Band Kikui, hits 180, which is a little nicer than Zorak's Choice Band Kikui for 170. Um, but you're not really going to be one-shotting with this attack. You're going to be one-shotting with Dead End GX, the one-per-game attack your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition. That Pokemon is knocked out. No question. So we're just going to be hitting consistently for 130 uh, and then dead end GX for, for a big knockout. Um, this is very similar to the whole Lycanroc deal, except Lycanroc has the subjectively better ability than Dark Ride GX. Um, so how do we get the special conditions? We run one Nihaligo GX ability when you play it down. Uh, both active Pokemon are confused and poisoned. I still have to kind of get used to, like, being confused and poisoned, uh, and then having to retreat. So, uh, definitely, uh, skill with playing the deck. Uh, you know, you Guzma, you probably want to Guzma something like a Lele, so you only have to retreat, discard one energy. Um, I've screwed that up, like, every time I played this deck today. Um, but hopefully I won't screw that up today. Uh, and then we run this one Mewtwo for the Buzzable Lycan Rock match, because that's probably going to be rough, considering all your main attackers are weak to fighting. That's, uh, or, yeah, not really Buzzable Lycan Rock, just any Buzzable. Um, for one energy, they're going to be hitting for, like, Choice Band, Strong Energy, that's what, it's like 160, yeah, somewhere, something like that. 160? Yeah, 160. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then with our Rock, it's like 180, two Red Rock is a knockout. Three red jack, whatever. It, you're not. They're not going to be one shotting. They're going to be two shotting for one energy. Um. So, and you're going to be two shotting for two energy. So it's not the best. Uh, onto the supporter line. Two sycamore. Uh, not too standard, but uh, we don't really need that much draw support because we're kind of drawing everything with Zorak. Uh, four n. I don't know. You could go three sycamore, three n. It's really based off the preference. Uh, and is one of the most powerful cards in the game. So gotta have four of those guys. Um, three Guzma, because I don't like two Guzma. Uh, I know, um, Pram played two, but that was because he played Lycanroc, so it's completely justified. Um, even though we do run puzzles, I do like the three Guzma for consistency. Two Bridget. I started with three, but dropped one for the Acerola. Um, 
you just need to play one of these guys out. Most of the time, you don't even need to play one. So, I mean, Torg runs three, but um, he had he had space in that deck. We won, we won some cool stuff. So, uh, we got two Bridget. We got one Ace Arola. Kind of a little bit niche here. Uh, we're going to be using this to recover Zorox. I haven't been knocked out. Dark Rise, I haven't been knocked out. Especially against something like uh, Zorok Decidueye, they're not going to be um, streaming one-shots quite so easily. Um, so this guy, make sure that we recover. <coughs> uh, so the idea is we pretty much trade to an Ace Rilla, and then we go to town. Um, so I forgot to mention for the Pokemon line, we do run two Tapu Lele. Uh, you don't really need three. There's not much space for three. You can't really bench three, because if you run like three Zorok, and then like a dark rise, so that's already four. Um, and then you have two spaces, so it's like a Lele, and then like your other dark rise or something like that. Um, you're gonna need your like Lele for Bridget, and otherwise, oh, and your Nihaligo. Your Nihaligo is your other bench spot, so you really only have a spot for one Lele. Um, but two's two's good because if you start with one, yeah, <laughs> uh, enough said. Uh, four Ultra Ball, standard, standard. Four puzzles, standard with most Zoroless uh, puzzles, very, very good. I think, um, especially when you've, like, used two Guzmas, and then you just trade into the puzzles, and then, uh, I also forgot to mention, sorry, the inherent synergy between Zorak and Darkrai, because Darkrai's ability is when he's in the discard, so you trade away the Darkrai, uh, and the Dark Energy, and then, uh, use the ability. I don't think it's that good, like, I think I was, you know, with Ninetale Zorak, like, with the Aqua Patch thing, they're like, oh, you can trade away water and the Aqua Patch it. Yeah, sure you could. And you can also, like, there's so many, like, hypotheticals, right? Um, definitely, like, discarding a Darkrai with Zorark is fine. Because, like, you're just going to get it back. It does not matter. So, it's like Execute, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's uh, the Inherit Synergy, which I forgot to mention. Uh, for Elixir, uh, which is um, it's our main uh, energy acceleration of the deck to power up our Darkrai, I was thinking about cutting Elixir down, adding some double colorless energy for Zorark, but, um, I'm going to stick with this for now. It seems to be really consistent. Uh, two field bore for obvious reasons. If we don't need them, we can just throw them away. For if we ever run into a garb or anything with a choice band, anything with a choice band really, uh, we need to make sure that the math doesn't line up too well. Um, there's a lot of a lot of like things like a baby nine tails with a choice band, two shots. You know, it's just like we don't want to have that problem. So if we don't need them, we discard them with trait. It's fine. Same with the two enhanced hammer. Is what I really like. If Against Gardevoir, we absolutely need these, um, both of them. So um, that's always good. And if we don't need them, trade them away. That's the beauty of this deck. You can tech it out and uh, just trade everything you don't need away. Um, sorry, I'm skimming things all over. Uh, we got one Mallow. Zorak is really good with Mallow. You Mallow, you two cards, you trade into them. Enough said. You got your last energy, your last elixir, whatever. Get those things out. And uh, as I mentioned, the Kikui. Um, Boost out 20 damage. I, I don't think I've used it yet. <laughs> Sounds awful. But uh, at the time, I definitely needed it more than once. So, uh, it was good. Um, two choice ban, hit those numbers, and uh, the one float zone. Uh, there's a Guzma, and you don't want to discard energy. That's why I really like, because with Nihaligo, you really have to Guzma. You have to Nihaligo and then Guzma um, to not hit yourself. Uh, and then Float Stone lets you get right out of that. You can always Dark Energy lately, but uh, I also like Float Stone for like when you Elixir to a Dark Rai. And because uh, Zor Zorox retreats too. Like if you need the trade and the retreat, um, so the Float the float Stone's really nice uh, to make sure you're getting into the right attacker when you need. Uh, and then 12 Dark Energy because with Max Elixir, you can't really run any less than 12. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into a match called it New Deck 5. And wow, that was, that was quick. All right, so it looks like he's playing Fighting, which we don't like to see. Uh, Dark and Psychic. So Psychic is a Lele. Maybe he's playing Turbo Dark. That'd be kind of interesting. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because I don't want to play against that with Marsh Shadow. Hopefully it's Pseudo Widow. Um... <laughs> It's the only one way to find out. Uh, this hand, I don't like starting with Darkrai. I really don't. Uh, but what we can do is Bridget and Dark to active. Looks like he mulliganed. Oh, duh. Zorak like a yeah, What was I thinking? Like the Turbo Dark. 
I don't know my meta. Uh, yikes. We're going to draw a card. Wow, look at that. This is not good. This is not good. I don't like the Lycanroc at all. It's going to bridge it. Um, I think this Dark Rock is going down. Oh, wow. Nice Bridget. There we go. Strong to Rock Ruff. Um, we might actually... Oh, what can we do? Uh, I was even bridging Lele and then, like, attaching a Dark and then... Who's making that thing out? Or we could actually... Ready? Oh, that thing's weak to... Oh, that thing's weak to grass. No. What do we do? I think we really need the top deck Zora, in all honesty. Uh, not gonna... Yeah, we go. That, that'll be it. Let's see where this goes. Need some way to retreat as well. He's gonna grab Zorak, which is, I guess, a good sign. Um, maybe not. Yeah, so he's using his trade right now. Oh, so it's not really. So he probably has another supporter. Unfortunately, choice paint on the Zorak. Okay, Sigmar. Um, from the looks of it, I think he might attack with the Zoro. Three Rock Ruff. Okay, he's just gonna pass. That's completely fine with us. Um, it's rather interesting. In hindsight, maybe we should have bridged it for the Lele. I guess I never would have thought that. <coughs> um, I really don't want to like GX now. I'm. So I just want to like Guzma up one of these one of these guys and just like smack it for thirty. That's really all I can do at this point, uh, because I don't because if that guy gets like one more energy and he doesn't flip tails, uh, then I'm dead. So that's not good. All right, so he's gonna get a second Zoro. Oh, um, I can knock this dude out. And then he'd come down to this. He's already got double Zoro. <coughs> so he's gonna stretch her probably for the baby. Okay. Um oh boy. We might be getting hit with the baby. So he's gonna trade Dick for that DCE. Trade away Bridget. Excellent. Not for us. Um, he might even try to like like a rock, and if he gets a float zone, and a, okay, so he's just gonna end. That's honestly great for us. Uh, brilliant. So we just need a Zorok, and then like uh, okay, that's that works. That totally works. And we got the enhance hammer too, which is uh, okay. That is not good though. So he's gonna knock out our Zoro. Okay. Um, he's gonna mind jack. Now the question is, I don't know if we can knock out this Zorark. Um, we might actually be able to do something, so we lead Zorark, right? So my question is, if we trade into... If we trade into an Elixir, then we can smack this Rock Ruff in the face. So I don't, I don't know if I want to use this in Hands Hammer yet. So I'm going to trade away the Ultra Ball. Pray to God for an elixir. All right, there we go. All right, please hit this. Yes. All right. So hit that elixir. Um. Yeah, that works for me. Ah. Uh, let's smack it out of here. The Zorark. Um. I don't. I really don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to trade away. Uh. So just mind check. That's interesting because we can um. No, actually, you know what I want to do? I want to save the Trickster for the uh, uh, Dangerous Rogue GX. Because that could do that could actually be more effective than Dead End, considering we don't actually have a Dark Ride powered up. 
Um, oof. Okay, so I was thinking, yeah, we would have been able to fluff an elixir shenanigan. Uh, so we're going to enhance hammer the active. We're going to Lele for Guzma on the bench. Yikes, we got a Guzma for us. Uh, we can't really trade away this new heli goal. I mean, we could, but I don't really want to risk it. So I guess the good thing is that we're back in the game. Barely. Good trickster counter. Okay, that was close. We almost didn't knock him out. <laughs> okay, Alexa, that's good. Um... Energy Lato. That's like the it's like the, the signature card that's like, oh and he whiffs it. Okay, that's great. <coughs> great for us. Uh he's gonna end. Wow, okay, that I'm completely fine. Then hands hammer I would have liked, but um That'll just have to do. Alright, so we get an elixir and uh Yeah. Pretty standard stuff. Um If he evolves into a lichen rock, he doesn't. He does not. You know what? That that's unfortunate. That's really, it's really unfortunate. Um, oh, do we trade away these ultra balls? Sure. Um, what I do want is an acerola right now. The acerola. Okay, okay, and now we can trade away this other dark right. And I think we have a dark in the discard. Yeah, we got two. Um, okay, so this could be interesting. Hammer would be pretty good, I think. Uh, kind of a shame, because we could have Ultra Balled. Ooh, yo. All right. Let's not jinx it or anything, but I think I have a plan. Whoa, wait a second. This could be better than what I thought. Wow. Wait a second. We got a plan, yo. And I really almost screwed this up. Because, yeah, okay. So this is what we're going to do. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm completely fine with this plan. Uh, we're going to field lower away this. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> I'm just so in awe because I just, I just was not expecting anything. Uh, from, I guess, this this matchup, I guess. Is that the correct thing to say? I wasn't expecting anything to match up. Um, yeah, I guess not. Uh, we're going to Elixir. I really want to hit it on the Le uh, blah, blah, blah. I really want to hit it on the Lele. Um, at the same time, I do want the power of Dark Ride. But, ah. Uh, uh, do it on the Lele, we kind of, like, guarantee game if we, like, I, I do like it on the Lele. Um, we're going to treat. We're going to dead end. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, the good news is that other than the Zoroarks, Lycanroc requires two energy. So if he wants any chance of powering this guy up. All right, so he's going to bring in the GX. Um, hindsight, we probably did I already trade that turn? Okay, so he's gonna like your rock 30. Does that matter? Ooh, yo, that's actually like short with Dark Rise attack. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna bring up that, um, that baby, if we can. So I think we're gonna we're gonna um. Are we? Are we? Are we just gonna symbiont? What's a symbiont? Um, this is really this is kind of close. So he still needs that DCE. Um, but we can easily run him out of energy, or at least so. There's two in the discard. Uh, if he attaches to Lycan Rock or whatever, he's just not going to be able to attack. 
So, uh, at this point, at this point, I think it may be slightly more beneficial to take out the rock. And he just, oh my god, he just passes. Oh, there's the second puzzle. Oh boy. Oh, he didn't attach energy. That would have been beautiful. Uh, so I think we grabbed the Guzma and the hammer. Right? And then I think we double trade away these two. Do we? I really don't want to. Or do we trade away the end? Decisions. And that's the other thing, because our math is slightly off, because we got 160 plus 30. Um, that's going to suck. Uh, we're going to... Actually, we might grab the double Guzma. Uh, I really want to grab the hammer, but I think we're going to grab the double Guzma. Um, and we're going to trade away... Man, I really don't want to do this. Okay, so we already got we already got Azora down. So we're gonna do the like if there's a priority of which one to discard, definitely be the Zora first. Um, so now I think we're gonna hit one onto the Zora arc, and he's just gonna okay, that's <laughs> that's fine. Oh, whew. you heard it here first, folks. Dark Rye, whatever the heck I'm playing, beats uh beats like a <laughs> No, not really. <laughs> I got a little leggy on that one. Oh my god. So I wasn't really talking much because uh, I was like not not that I like not that I like end my recordings whenever I lose. It's just, you know, I just really don't wanna lose, you know. It's like I don't wanna start the video on a bad note. Um oh my god, this guy's a fighting deck box. I didn't even see what his type was. Is it really that it's like I'm like looking at the It's not that bad. Just looking at the uh, looking at the video. Oh my god, I was close. I thought we would have led with uh yeah, legal. Oh my god, if he's playing Buzzwool. If it turns out like last game, I think I'm fine, but... Oh, no! Come on! Give us a break! Ah! Low-key, I think we use this guy now. Because we're going to use Absorption. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just gonna... As I literally... Uh, yo, this is awful. This is literally awful. I do not know what to do. I'm flabbergasted. Okay, uh, I would have preferred... Preferred one one's orc. So if he, like, flips tails or whiffs... Do we go for that? Because that's our only Zorark. I think I think the play is we Lele. We man, see I don't know what to do now. I think I think I think we Lele for like an N or something. We retreat into that and then slap on the No, no, we slap on the ready. We slap on the float stone retreat. Um and then we slap on the dark energy to Lele in the next turn. That is what we do. Should I single puzzle for the Zora? That's assuming we can get it. Because I'm making Guzma. Mm, but if we don't get the Zora, come on. Man. What the? I don't want any of these. Oh my god. I just wasted the puzzle. This is going a lot worse than last game. In my humble opinion. Oh. Brooklyn. We can't even use it. Okay, so... Man. He better flip tails the entire game. I'm telling you. Because that is our only saving grace. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's kind of hilarious. So, unfortunately... Yeah, he put the, uh... The fighting in the bench. Oh, we do have a couple more turns. Oh, wow. Oh wow! No, that that's definitely hilarious. That <coughs> that is definitely hilarious. Uh, would have been better if we got this work, so we could like. Okay, well we got it now. Um, yikes! I think we need to grab an elixir off of this. Uh. 
That is unfortunate. Um, oh, you know what sucks? I could trickster the absorption. Oh, wait. I was thinking. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Hold up. This could work. So I was thinking, without the choice band, the absorption math is going to be off. But we have six remaining prize cards. So if he attaches, like, a fighting to the bench and just, like, passes up. No way. Can you can you pass? No, I don't even think that knocks us out, even, even if he Guzmas. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. So he's going to Guzma. Okay, so that's 50, 60, 120. Yeah, I think we can actually trickster the absorption. Um, But we do need to get more Zorark out. So we're going to attach to this. Um... I actually want to use Bridget. I think we're gonna... Because the 190 is super awkward, so I don't think we can use Kikui at all. So we're gonna discard that. And we're gonna hopefully draw into... Did I even want to draw into that? I don't know anymore. I literally don't know anymore. I, I think I wanted to draw into Elixir. To be honest. Uh, yeah, definitely want to try an elixir. Uh, okay, so we're in a trickster, but I think I think we have to I think we have to bridge it one Pokemon out. Oh my God, Mewtwo! Oh man! Oh, why did I forget about Mewtwo? Why did? Oh, is this one of your Pokemon's attacks? I thought this. I thought this was their active. No way. I feel like an idiot now. That changes the game. No, because I was playing this Greninja match like a few rounds ago. And I could have like shadow stitching Nafini with a choice band for the knockout. God, I'm dumb. Alright, so. <coughs> this is not looking that bad. No, it's looking pretty bad. Um, okay. Um, that shocked me as a surprise. You know what we need. Okay, so this is tricky. Because we can't... Ah, oh, it's like... Can Mallow for an elixir and a float zone. Uh so choice band Zorark. It does 150. I swear to god. Oh, this oh my god. It's like dirty and okay. I think we need to because we can't smack this like rock in the face. I think we need to Guzma and kill something. But we can we I mean we could trade into the other elixir. Or, like, we could train to a puzzle. That's not that unrealistic. So I think we trade away the field blower. Okay, so that's interesting. We actually... Ah, uh, no. Because if we don't... No, we actually... I don't know what I'm saying. Don't listen to me. Uh, yeah, we don't... I... Uh, they kind of have all their Pokemon now. Okay, so this is interesting. Because what we can do, we can elixir. I don't know if I want to do that though. We just need to hit another elixir. So we sort of have it. But the problem is. Yeah, because Dark Ride Choice Ban. It's a straight up knockout on the. That's the thing. Um, we have to double hit this elixir. And then we double puzzle for what? Maybe Mallow. It. I mean, it doesn't matter too much.
Get the elixir and I mean maybe the puzzle. I'm guessing the puzzle. Oh my god, thank god. Oof. Oh, if we didn't hit that, we would be in trouble. Trouble. We kind of we kind of already are screwed, but at least we're back in the game now. Because we actually have not gotten this puzzle. You know what I think it was? I think it was a Niha Legal early game. That's actually hilarious. Okay, so we... Now that's interesting. Um... Ooh, you know what could be, you know what could be, like, sort of niche? <coughs> no, it wouldn't even be worth it. Because I was thinking we could, like, get another Zora can play. But what we... Ah, sorry, I'm just trying to, like, think out loud, you know? Uh, I think what we need is an enhance hammer. Okay, so he's going to strong, and he didn't even GX attack yet. Um, so, he's gonna elixir. I just don't know how we win this. I really don't. I think we... I think... Wait. Ooh, no, if you actually hit that, I was thinking, how much is Mewtwo gonna do? So, this is interesting. So... I, I guess we trade and see what we get. Because we can Darkrai. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely... We definitely attack with Darkrai. Oh, we got another Elixir. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Um, more energy is great. Uh, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna trade one already. Ultra Ball. Uh, I want that strong energy away. For sure. Um, okay, cool. Trade away the Darkrai. Uh, Acerola sounds like the play. I just, come on, can't, no, come on, come on, get these dark eyes on my face. I'm literally contemplating, okay, there's the hammer, there's a the hammer, that's good. That is step one. Uh, we did not accomplish step two, which is getting the second puzzle for the, uh, we got the Lele, which is kind of interesting because, can we Guzma? Yeah, okay, there's no way that. We, we gotta make sure. All right, we gotta, gotta make sure. Um, ooh, so that's the last Guzma. But we do have the puzzle in there. So that's really interesting. So what we can do, we can Lele for the Guzma, but the problem with that... I guess it's not that... The two elixirs are gonna be so wasted. That's the problem. That is the problem with that. So I think we attach to the Zork no matter what. Because if we smack this guy and he plays Acer Roller or something, we are, like, we're screwed. And I think we won Enum late game. So we played 2N, which isn't that much. So I, I think we want to smack this Octillery. Uh, granted, he can Brooklyn Hill, but then we can hit him with the other Guzma. Or we can hit him with a double puzzle. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. So I think we're going to Guzma up the Octillery and then knock that out with the Zorark. Um, the Elixir thing is really awkward. But we have... Okay, so we have three left in the deck. So I don't think we're going to be missing any. Like, if we go for him later. Like, um, you know, like if we bring up a Dark Ride from the discard. Uh, so we're going to retreat and we're going to Guzma out this Octillery for that, um, for that prize. So, is there anything else we can do? Okay, so I'm not going to puzzle, I'm not going to elixir. So we're going to ride this beating for that one prize. Um, and unless he ends us to a completely unplayable card and we can't trade out of it, we need to get double puzzle. I think what we need... See, that's also the thing. If he doesn't... If he doesn't bench, like, another Pokemon and he evolves... Okay, so he gets Remoraid. Never mind. Never mind. I was like, if he evolves into uh, Lycanroc, he could put us into Gridlock there. Um, so let's see what our one card is. Uh, oh, okay. Um, that's not the worst thing. So he's going to Jet Punch. Uh, now let's actually see. So Mewtwo. I'm kind of intrigued. So... 
Oh, that didn't even knock out? What? Okay, so that kind of changes, changes stuff. Did you like miscalculate that or something? And hit one. I really want the. I think we got to dig for Guzma. I really do. Or for the double puzzle. This is super awkward. Like, this is super awkward. This is so stupid. We need a double puzzle from this. Yeah, I knew that totally wasn't going to happen. Ooh, we could ace a roller. That'd be hilarious. That could have been the play. We could have ace a roller and then gotten out Mewtwo. But I don't, I don't think Mewtwo would have knocked him out. Ooh, okay, so we're going to... Uh, yeah, ace a roller. That's, that's the best call here. Um, do we bench Azura or not? I think we do. Uh, does he have any field bar left? Dude, this man hasn't discarded anything. What? So we bench another one or not? Um, cause I, I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up again. We could like, could bring up a Zork and then double elixir, but we have four in our hand. What chance do we have of hitting that thing? Oh, pretty well, actually. Um, I think I'd much rather prefer the Zorark. Oh, I'm making the double elixir of that. I never even thought about that. Oh, but the Mewtwo. I think... <coughs> I think we smack him. See, that was kind of risky because... Okay, so we didn't hit the elixir anyways. But see, the problem now is that we need to darken the Zork, aka this hand, in order to guarantee game next turn. And that's really scary. Or, no, that's a lie. That's a lie, because that he has 150 damage on him. If he plays Acer a lot, we're going to be... It's going to be a run for our money. Definitely going to be a run for our money. And if he doesn't run Acer a lot, um, Here's the thing. If he plays N, we can still get game by double puzzle and the dark energy because we have Tapu Lele. I was going to say, hell, we could even just attack with Zora, but that doesn't even do that. Oh, I just... Man! Dude, okay. That's not the worst thing. I'll just... I was going to say, let's hope he doesn't gridlock us with high HPs, but... If he's going to Lycan Rock. He might actually like Lycan Rock something like a knee heli go. He's probably going to... Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, he already GX, so he's actually just going to pass this turn. So we need to trade into that... To that double puzzle. There's the Ultra Ball. I'm thinking about Ultra Balling for something so we can trade it away. Is that bad? I think... See, how many energy do we have? One, two, three. Oh, I can... Oh, I can't Brooklet. Shoot, the public knowledge thing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One prize is at max, so there's an energy left in the deck. I think we attach <coughs> to Nihaligo. Like, just in case. We better get the double puzzle this turn. With three trades? There's one. There's one. Yes! Alright, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my god. How is this happening? Oh my god. No way. We just beat two fighting decks. With Zorark Darkrai. Oh my god. No way. Holy...
I don't know if we should go for one more, if we should stop there. I think we're just going to stop there. Oh my god. So the two matchups I didn't want to run into, Zorak Lycanroc and Buzzwool Lycanroc, and we beat both of them. Wow, that's actually... That's actually... And we didn't even use Mewtwo! Look at that! The one tech. Okay, so that's interesting. And we didn't use Kakui at all. So, this deck list definitely up for revision, but... Wow, let me, let me, let me know what, uh... What you guys think of this deck in the comment section, because... I mean, granted, there is, like, there is a decent amount of luck, because he didn't grab the DC. Um... But, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> it shows you the consistency and the power of Zorak. Um, not that, like we did attack with Darkrai, because we definitely did a decent amount of times. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Probably one of, like, the weirdest but most exciting videos I think I've ever done. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.